status report to Optimus Prime. Update. You may notice that I appear to be very tiny, because, in fact, I am. Hmm. How to explain? Well, the rescue bots prepared for their move from the firehouse to the new training center on the mainland. I didn't realize you were moving, moving. I guess you bots will be spending most of your time over there from now on. Dr. Green scanned everyone for the security system, even the youngest of the group. Simon says, touch your nose. <laughs> wow, Cece, you learn fast. Everyone, please wait while I perform a security check. We figured a smart building should have a smart interface. She controls and monitors the entire training center. The grand opening was a tremendous success. And everyone seemed to enjoy the facilities. Snow crown! Ah, hey! Which brings me to my predicament. Blur built a miniature racetrack. Right here. Elma, minimize us. I won, of course. But after our race, things started going haywire around the center. Elma, unshrink Blur and Quick Shadow. I'm afraid I can't do that. And to make matters worse, the building's cloaking is failing. And we can't get out to fix it. So retract the building. Go back to hangar mode. Elma, shut the retractor down. So that means... The training center will be completely exposed. People driving by will see it. And people flying over will see it. I'd best rejoin the others. Sorry to keep you in suspense, but over and out for now. A blue team patrol with four bots and stasis. You stay in the boat in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. We're at 80% coverage and falling. What do I do? Our planes are photographing everything below them. The training center will be on view for our engineering team and the military. The bot's cover will be blown. Danny, you have to stop your test flight team from taking off. I'm only a pilot here. I don't give the orders. Well, can't you, I don't know, break your leg or something? They'll still go without me. And I'll have a broken leg. Well, yeah, but it might slow them down for a few minutes. Anything you can do to delay your team's takeoff would help. We need to buy more time to deal with the hologram. I'll try my best. Hey guys, who's up for another cup of coffee? Graham, how long will it take to fix the training center's disguise? There's no fixing it. The entire cloaking device, the hardware that actually creates the hologram, is completely fried. Don't tell me. There's no backup. Oh no, there's a backup. But? It needs to be replaced manually. Upstairs, near the landing pad. Then the whole system needs to be rebooted. Along with the projectors outside. Which would be an easy five minutes work if... If Elma hadn't locked us in. Exactly. Elma is programmed to run diagnostics, right? Can she do one on herself? Good idea. Maybe she can tell us why she's acting so strange. Elma! Run your self-diagnostic program and give us the results. <laughs> Sorry, can't do that. Um, not to change the subject, but, uh, does nobody care that I'm three inches tall? I mean, that's the problem you should be trying to solve. I believe that problem extends to both of us. Yeah, <laughs> us. 
That's what I meant. Sorry, but your teensy-weensy trebles will have to wait. The failing hologram comes first. Graham, get the backup device. I'll find a way up and out to the landing pad. There is one possibility. If you climb through the service shaft of the zoom tube and break through this wall, that hallway leads to the landing pad. As long as you're breaking through things, how about the front door? Mm -mm, not that easy. It's a double-thick Cybertronian alloy built to withstand pretty much anything. Although... Although what? There's a small panel here that accesses the wires for the entrance intercom system. Which lead outside... to the palm projectors! Huh. What good does that do unless we have somebody who's small enough to... Oh. Oh! We're on it. Hey, hey, wait up! Here's the replacement device. Once you've removed the old one, line up these electrodes with the pins on the bracket. Got it. I got it. I got it. Whoa! <laughs> um, maybe Cody should have it. We'll head up. Graham, Boulder, see if you can figure out what's wrong with Helma. Not right now, Servo. We'll find something for you to do soon. Wonder if they're having any luck with the ground bridge at the firehouse. Hmm. Maybe if I tried this. Okay then, this. Is this not the very definition of insanity? Figuratively speaking. Griffin Rock Emergency. Be right there. Busy out there. Traffic light out and a power line down. Blades will need your help. Oh, thank goodness. Not that watching Salvage is boring or anything, but it is. Something has to work. I'll keep trying. This isn't a rematch. We're on a mission. Why not have some fun on the way? Wait, stop! If this is another of your tricks... No, listen. You hear that? What's it doing? What it's programmed to do. Vacuum us away. Split up. Hey, over here, you big vacuum bully. <laughs> gotcha. Whoa. Follow me. If we go, we'll go down fighting. So we're giving up on escaping? Fine. Go, tool chest. Thank you, Servo. You truly are a bot's best friend. <laughs> Two things. Being this size is officially annoying, and I'm utterly turned around. Servo, which way to the front door? <laughs> That's weird. I open the smart house programming to see if there's any clue to Elma's behavior but it looks like some files are either empty or missing. Maybe they've been moved to other locations. I'll take a look. Huh. Too narrow for a bot. But not for a human. I can't let you risk it. I'm a fireman, remember? And what do firemen do? Um, put out fire. Yeah, 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 that too. We also climb. Give me the doohickey. Ah, this is easy. Wow! 
found you! Device okay? I'm fine, thanks. Seriously, thanks. What happened? Elma popped out of nowhere right in front of me. She's not a ghost, you know. I know that. I wasn't scared, just surprised. I could try again. You but... have to. There's no other way up there. Everything's locked up shut. Not everything. See? We never asked Elma to close the boat dock. It's still open. What good will that do? It just leads out to the ocean. Exactly. Nice thinking, Cody. I see you have found a loophole in the law. Chief, request permission to pursue. Sure, go ahead, Chase. Oh. Doesn't Graham usually do this? Are you sure that goes there? I'm sorry. Am I not helping? Blades, are you there? We could use your help. Heatwave needs a ride. How long will it take you to fly to the mainland? Fly to the mainland alone? Uh, Chief really needs me here. That does not look right. Blades, why don't you go help Cody? I think we've got things here after all. Okay, but call if you miss my witty commentary. Cody, I've stalled as long as I can. We just got final call for takeoff. How long till you fly over the training center? Not very. How's it going there? Still working on it. Hey, Danny. It's not too late to try the broken leg thing. <sighs> Thanks, Danny. Let us know when you're close. Text from Graham. The hologram's down to 50%. Uh, it doesn't give us much time. If we can't fix it by the time they fly over... Found you! Uh, ha! See? Uh, what is this? Hide and seek? the gentleman, aren't we? Watch it! Sorry. <laughs> hey, no fair! Cody? talk long. We'll be flying over the training center in about 10 minutes. Let's hit the water and get out of this fun house. Found you again! Hang on! Hey! 
I think that's Danny. Hey, guys. Blades, we're on our way out of the tunnel. How far from shore are you? Just a few minutes. Make it one minute. All right, all right. Hey, did you know that Danny's flying right over us? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> that's pretty high. Uh, how do you think we should... Ah! Stop doing that! You go left, I'll go right. The other left! Graham, we're in place and awaiting your go. Great job. I'll let you know when the new device is in place. Better be soon. We're down to 30% coverage. Heat wave, what's your status? Almost there. There he is. Never tried this before. Might be a little tricky. What do you mean, tricky? Hold on to your lunch, tricky. So, not. Boulder, where does this thing go? There's a metal box attached to the wall near the doorway. There are four screws in each corner that you remove one by one. <laughs> That'll work too. There. Device in place. And rebooted. Floor, quick shadow. Restart the projectors. Ah! Uh, having a spot of trouble. Perhaps if I get a running start. Or even better, a turbo start. I think she heard me. Thanks, partner. Hey! Watch where you're landing! Sorry about that. Elma, open the doors. Cat, you didn't ask right. Sorry, guys. We still can't figure out what's going on with Elma. We think her personality files got corrupted somehow. Wait a minute. Graham, didn't this trouble start when you uploaded CC's scan? Yes, but that shouldn't matter. CC's file went into the security system, not Elma's programming. Are you sure? I can check, but why? Because I think I just figured this whole thing out. Elma! Simon says, open the front doors. <laughs> Whoa, how did you? Heatwave was right. Elma was playing hide and seek with us. Or at least Cece was. Cody, that's it. Doc mislabeled the extension of Cece's original file. I thought we'd fixed it, but it uploaded to Elma's programming instead of the security system. So Cece's personality profile took over. She was running the place. She just thought she was playing. Uh, so all we had to do was say... Simon says. 
Hey, tell her to turn on the maximizer, now. Okay, I get it. Simon says, tell her to turn on the maximizer now. Uh, I guess we have to. On the other hand, I know a dresser drawer he'd fit into nicely. Very cozy, out of the way. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, yeah. You uh, are joking, right? Hey, it's working. I think this is yours. Are we glad to see you? Truly. While you were away, we fixed a traffic light, stopped a speeder, and helped a wounded pigeon. Don't forget the downed power line. While the training center is important, it is imperative to remember our team's first priority, to serve and protect the people of this island. You're right. This is our home. Good to be reminded of that every once in a while. What do you say, Cody? Give me a hand putting this back?